with when it came to the gaming consoles, you know, uh, Nintendo was number one because you know the lesser powerful console always wins. Because people just didn't care back then; they just wanted a cheap console. And Sony just well, they were like, "Here's our asses. We we're completely cluster fucking ourselves. We're putting up a six hundred dot." dollar console, it uh, really has pathetic graphics, and yeah, here, we're, uh, we're just pretty much killing ourselves right here. Alright, enough talk about consoles, you seem to talk about it in every episode. <laughs> True. Yeah, uh, all tech is the game world. Consoles are computers now, too. They're pretty much the same thing now. Well, I have to say, I'm not talking about things that are sold as gaming devices. <laughs> that you hook up your TVs. Yeah, you guys were talking about all the eye devices. They're not gaming consoles, they're, they're mobile internet devices that play games. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can hook up X, your uh, Windows Phone 7 to win Xbox Live now. Oh, wait, you could have done that since the beginning. Whatever. Anyway, it's not talking about game consoles. This, isn't, this show isn't about consoles. Their major, uh, was part of their major uh, opening when they when they announced the Windows Phone. They said, "Hey, you can hook up to Xbox Live." Stop talking about Xbox. Stop talking about PlayStation. Stop talking about E. <laughs> it annoys me. <laughs> now they made a Xbox Live for iOS. Consoles. <laughs> now they have an iOS Xbox Live app. <laughs> You realize, Gummy, the more you tell him to stop talking about it, he's just gonna screw with you. <laughs> no, he's just doing it out of habit. <laughs> like, I can talk about Marvel or DC, he'll go nuts. Oh, wait, he's, oh, damn it, he's gonna do it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's not talking about shit. Yeah, he's talking about Joe and their damn video. <laughs> an asshole given a raise, and an idiot was given a raise. Say no, 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 I did, he did it! I was right! I can play it if you want. Here, let me go. Here, let's, you know what? Let's do that just to drive dead nuts. Scotch. <laughs> uh, 
ramen cook. With why is the ramen gone? Why is yeah, the iPad's gonna be a big sale. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna sell the cheeses out of it. But why is the ramen gone? There he is! Woohoo! Okay, did you get scotch or a rum and coke? Look, it's spring break, dude. My kids are... Oh, no, I know. I, I, I'm asking... We, we, we assumed that. We're just uh, wondering... No, I've been drinking rum and coke. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least I don't have to... I mean, I Today's been a work. long day. Long day. What? Yeah, it's spring break over here, too. Because it's it's very... spring break nationwide. <laughs> I mean... No, my house is break in your area, Rusty. I'm not talking about that, and we're going to go into Microsoft now. I don't know what that's worry about. I thought you were going into Google. Uh, uh, do we have any? Um, the only thing we really had on Google was the Docs thing. Did we talk about that? No. Yeah, we, I think we did at the beginning. That's yeah, I, 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 I think our next big thing is the Microsoft stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and we talked about Google in the beginning before we got into the not Apple part. I want to talk about this, but this is the most important story. <laughs> uh, well, first off, I, I well on Google, let's do Google real quick. All right, we're talking about you were talking about Android. Yes, the I get I get all the confused. Gingerbread is the one that was on the HTC Evo, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. And it was also on my other Sprint device, which I can't remember the name of well, it. Well, but there were multiple versions of Gingerbread, all, all with right. additional features. And the Zoom is the only thing that I that I have used that has used Honeycomb. Okay, and uh, which version of Honeycomb? The very first version of Honeycomb. It, here's the thing. Google launched Honeycomb before it was ready. It was basically a late beta. It was it was not cooked. It was not it was you remember what Android 1.6 was? No. Okay, and okay, Android 1.5 and 1.6, the uh, G1. You know, before it was really cooked, before it was Androidiness. I was uh, an iOS fanboy back then. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Honeycomb Android 3, the early versions of Android 3 was another Android 1. It was, they released it before they should have, and it's like, it'll be there, but it ain't there yet. Okay. So, okay, before we get into the notes we have on Microsoft, Bit, you said you had a rant. A whole lot. Okay, is, should we let you rant first, or should we talk about the ARM lockdown first? This is Microsoft. You said no surprise. MS ARM systems will be required to be locked down. I already commented, will you? I'm not going to create a Rosetta type atmosphere. That's what that's about. No, 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 no. bit. They're going to be like iOS. They're going to be like iPhones. They're going to be locked. You can't start with OS on it. What? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Listen. The only reason why they would lock down Windows 8 on an ARM device is, yes, to make sure that they can control all the software because I, I don't no, know. No, no, Bit, Bit, you're not, you're not talking about the same crap. Uh, what they're talking about is this is going to be, these Windows devices are, now granted this is, this is people who are in the other camps picking on Microsoft because by default you can't install another OS on an iOS device. You have to jailbreak it first. And on an Android device you usually have to root it first. Uh, what it's saying is on the Windows 8 devices, all the ARM Windows 8 devices, oh, regardless of form factor, you will not be able to change the OS. How many people do that? I, I, I know. I think I said it's people. The pro, and really, the only other OS you could change it to would be Linux. Because it's ARM, it won't be able to run an older so version of Windows. So they want to own that unit sold. Exactly. It, and it's going to be locked to be a Windows system for the rest of its days unless you hack it. I don't think they can do that. I don't know if you can pull that off. To be honest with you. Well, that's what that's that's what they're going to be doing. All right. So this is a different thing than I thought. All right. Yeah. All right. They want to control unit sales. Okay. Well, and, you know, I have mixed feelings about this because Google, what? Google's going to leave you that, guys. The whole Nexus plan is going to head straight for that. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's why I'm saying. I'm gonna say this really isn't that different, like you're saying, and where Android's yeah. going. I, iOS is already there, and if yeah. we're honest, Microsoft could make the claim that it's for user experience because it's an ARM system. You couldn't downgrade it to Windows 7 anyways, even if yeah. it's one of these, and even if it's one of these ARM netbooks. You, the only other OS you could put on it would be Linux, and Microsoft claims Linux doesn't exist. Well, let's, let's be clear. This is a carrier-driven market. That's why I think tablets are beyond that. I don't find a use for them. Tablets create a market where they are. Uh, 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 okay, Ben, you're forgetting this also includes the low-end netbook systems that are ARM-based. Oh, really. Yes, all ARM architecture-based systems. Well, this is the same game they were playing before the goddamn names. I know. This I isn't just slates. Know. This is the CPU is ARM-based, which includes which includes the netbooks they were so proudly showing off when they first debuted this shit. Well, ARM, let's put it this way, is licensed out to whoever wants to ship it. So that means it was a Microsoft agreement with a local OEM. Look, Apple does the same thing with Macs. I, I mean, you could, um, you could put Linux on my Mac Pro if you wanted to. It'd be hard. It'd be, I mean, you'd have to have a certain amount of knowledge to do it. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. There's at least a dozen Linux distros that are aimed particularly at MacBook Pros and I, Apple devices, I, where you just install them and they have all the drivers there for you. The same thing's going to happen then with ARM devices. No. Are. Because with these ARM Windows devices, you're going to have to do the equivalent, even if it's a desktop form factor like a netbook, you're going to have to do the equivalent of rooting, jailbreaking the BIOS, and it's going to be locked like that. You have to unlock the... Wait a minute, but, the, but Apple's move to make EFI all-encompassing. I know that. Huh? Yeah, but then the secure boot thing, we have to get keys of where you get keys from. Microsoft. No, you get it from the OEM, but like, what's the point of having secure boot if yeah, the I mean, is absolutely a license? Always, you can always flash any type of memory. Yeah, a hackers will be able to get it. Basically, you can always text any type of memory. Basically, outside. what the point of this story is is you are now going to have to hack your Windows device to change its OS. Whatever. Sounds like Microsoft. Is that best what it is right now? The X86 machine, basically. Well, I mean, Apple's doing this anyway. I mean, Apple wants to lock themselves. That's why I, I was ranting against EFI. And we're like, how dare you, Mister Bitch? You like BIOS and all that? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I look, I'm for the consumer. I want you to have choice. Yeah. So what choice? And, 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 and you yeah. know what's funny about that? The Europe, it wasn't that long ago that the European Union was like, there were people in the European Union trying to get these suits going, He's saying, you know, it, the manufacturers are locking us into OSs, and now the U.S. is following in suit. What the hell's the matter with us? You know, with EFI and all this, there are some great technological advances, technically, that come from EFI, but I was worried about the principle. I have a whole video on YouTube. It's old. I know. But, 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 uh... I bitched about this shit, how I preferred BIOS. BIOS, how dare you? How dare you? Well, and you know, the really funny thing is even hey, if... It, Apple bit, to be on open firmware. Bit, uh, even if you're supporting the BIOS I technology... Apple to Intel that they get really locked down because Apple used to run on open firmware to boot up to... Well, you know, but th that's the funny thing. Even BIOSes are rather limiting. There's really only two or three BIOSes on the market that really let you fully have control of everything. Well, wait a minute, but, it, but that's because it's 16-bit real-time. That's a real-time... No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the limitations of a BIOS son. I'm talking about the fact that they just don't have the settings in the BIOS to mess with the things. There's really only two or three BIOSes on the market. Okay, wait a minute. You can go... Oh no, I know, but the, the, the argument is that that's a technical thing that the end user shouldn't have to do. Okay, but if a technical user is worried about BIOS, then they're not a they're, then they're not a normal normal user. Well, yeah. I disagree. You what can are you talking about? The mom and pop grandma that I know doesn't know shit about. <laughs> no, bit, bit. The number of steps that can go wrong in flashing your BIOS in which you turn the machine into a brick. It, okay, 
You're saying there's a novice hacker versus a pro hacker. Exactly. Right, but you know what? Those novice hackers eventually learn. Yeah, 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 but how many systems are you going to break in the meantime? I, I, that's where I'm at. Damn it, that's how I got where I'm at. I have four fucking goddamn computers and I get down. You know, but how smart, how come you're nobody retired? Because you're like, oh, I'm not going to get down. Yeah. You know, I just got to get down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.